In this video, we're going to focus on the Tailwind CSS login form design. And what we're going to do is basically we're going to create a form. The login form is the background, which is a gradient effect plus a small like a cart like center diff. And in here we have like the username and password and the button to sign in. It's very straightforward. Let's start and begin with it. So first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a class. And this class basically contain the full diff width is the gradient. So I'll say here, this will be a flex. And then we'll say here, um, uh, what is that? The uh, justify, justify center to put it in the center. Then I'll just make a diff here. You will see that. So you can see that as well. This is test. Save that. All right, so it's in the center, and then we have to do here is uh, align items, align, that is item center. If I do that one, then it will be vertical aligned, but of course we don't have set a fixed height. So I say H screen, meaning the full screen height. Now it's in the center here, and I want to make sure that there will be the width it will be also full screen. So we save that here. Do this one, all right. So then what I want to do is I want to put in a gradient effect. So we say here gradient, gradient color stop, linear gradient is the one we need. You can see here this exactly what I want here. You can see here these are three different colors. And we only using we're going to use only two colors. So I'm going to copy all of this. Then afterwards I will explain what they mean. Alright, so in here you see here the bay, uh, the background gradient basically from left to right. So this is to R meaning right. Starting point is yellow, halfway through is red, and after, after that it's pink. Yeah, so you can see if, if, uh, what is that via and from and to. So what I want to do here is, well, the from is necessary and the to is necessary. This one here is like a third value. If you would have another one, let's say we want to put another color. For example, we would have a rainbow color. It would be having a red and a blue and a green, etc., etc. You could make it multiple. If I save that here, refresh, you can see here now we have a nice rainbow design. Of course, I don't want it. I only want the red and the purple. So, because we only need two, we only need the from and the to value. So here we say red, and this I will make purple. So it will be nice dark, and everything else I'm going to remove. So it's uh, redundant, and then now we have two types of colors, which looks quite nice. We could make even a slightly darker red. Let's make this 700 red. Refresh, there you are. All right, that looks quite nice and fancy. So now let's continue on. So we have this now in the center here. We're done here. Let's focus on the, basically this would be the uh, login card here. So what we have to do here, we have to set up a few items. We're going to set here a fixed width. We're going to put in here a border and a background color. So let's start with the background color. That's straightforward. BG white for white color. And then we will say here is uh, border. We say here, or well, maybe we can remove the border, but at least we want a rounded, like border radius, where it's rounded. So if I save this now and refresh, there you are. And now I have nice rounded corners. And what I would like to do here, of course, is give it a padding. So let's say padding four to give it a bigger, bigger space. There we are. So once we have this here, we're, we have to do a few more things. We have to set up here width, but we can also wait with that and just first see how big eventually our text will be because basically if the width of the input type would be sufficient enough, then we will be satisfied with that as well. Then we don't have to set a width, but we can set a fixed width as well later on. So first of all here, we can we make here this uh, H2, then we say sign in. And here we're going to give it a class. What we want to do here, bolded font size. And now we are here, this is white. So we hear everything, the color is fine. And uh, text in the center. That's probably what we want to do, text center. And then font bold, if I'm not mistaken. If I refresh here, all right, that works. And then what we have is another item. This is an input item. Now we say here type equals email. So the person needs to log in with their email and then class will be the values that we're going to assign them right now. So what we can do here is we say at least a padding. 
padding tree and what we will do here is we say rounded for rounded borders and what we can do here is probably the the width well we have to see how it looks like i'll just make it a block just to be sure and then we say width um full for now but see how it responds so if i refresh here we have this item here all right there's a border missing we can put in a border here so we say your border and we can even assign a border color if we want. And you can see we need to have some padding and margin on top. I'll put in here a margin bottom 4. And then here probably a margin bottom 3. We have that. Alright, that looks fine. And the reason why I do that because we will have also the password that we need to add up here. So here password. Uh, input type. Alright. Here you need to put in placeholder and then we say here email enter email and here we'll say placeholder enter password save that refresh all right that's nice we have to make it slightly more uh, the width should be more bigger and this i want to have it po positioned to the center so we say here text center And then we won't copy that, put the class in here, save that. Now this is nice in the center. Now we have the final item, which will be a, a button or a link. Well, in this case, it will be just a button. And then we say here, class, this will be sign in. And here we have almost very similar, probably the border around it. Well, I will just say here, I'll just grab this first, to see how this looks like. Uh, font with bold, maybe here font bold fair enough once we have that this all right border color i guess this should be text white text white and then we say here we could give it a background radius as well like this if i save that there you are um might be too flashy for for the button so i would just say here fix color of a bg purple remove the radiant color and it's quite easy to use that command here it save that here now that looks more appropriate i want to give this here you can see it's missing some padding all right and probably this here margin bottom we don't need that here anymore all right so that looks better so now we have this the only thing what i want to do here of course is i want to well probably we can increase the size of this one here so what we can do, well, I'll have to double check here if that is correct. Uh, what is it? Text XL, if I'm not mistaken. All right, font size. Text XL, all right. That's the one we need. Copy that. We're going to put it in here, on uh, this one here, to ensure that the header tool gets a bigger font size, slightly bigger, that's nice. All right, here now, we're going to play around with the width. So the width, we say here, width. So I'm going to check what is the most appropriate width for our case. Because what we want to do here is make it slightly bigger. So if we search here, you can see here all these options. Uh, run, no, uh, let's see if 40% maybe. 50% is there, uh, yeah, I guess 40% can be. Let's try that. And we can do here, we put it in here. The width 2 slash 5 means 40%. That is to be honest, slightly too big. Do we have a 30%? Uh, I, will, I will go with 33%. I think that's a bit more appropriate. Once we have this, put it in there, save that, go back here. Ah, oh, that's all right. That looks quite decent. So we have this now. What I would like to do here, I want to give this a border color. So let's check how you give a border color here. So we search for border color. All right, border colors. Well, no, I want to go up here. I just want to have the border color. All right, changing opacity. No, I don't want that. I would like to have here the border. And you can see here, these are all of these colors. I probably, well, if you get this, I will just copy here the purple. And then we just say border dash purple 500, which makes sense because that's the similar color that we have here. So we say border dash that. All right, copy that. Then we do the same one here, just on the text center, save that, go back here. 
All right, so here we have this, what we call this active outline. So let's see what we can do with that. Um, let's search here, active outline. Remove outline, remove active, hover focus. Let's see what's the active or is the outline. So if I click on this, all right, that's active. Then I don't want this one. If I have group hover, no. So let's change that. Let's search here if I can find remove outline maybe like this. So I do like this. Can we give it a proper color? It shows you this, but I know that this didn't work last time. However, let's try one more time just to make sure if I didn't miss out anything. I'm going to copy this, put it in here, and then in here this will be purple. all right as you can see now it starts to become a huge chunk of code here however it doesn't matter so if i click on this is it becoming purple i honestly cannot say it looks more bluish than purple well let's make this red if i do this red what happens then she should become a reddish all right there's something happening you can see it becomes red it's just the glow is not apparently the glow that we have maintains blue so is there a way to maybe adjust that glow or is there just absolutely no adjustment possible all right i cannot find anything here so in this case i don't know how to adjust that that's a sad thing maybe they're still updating that part so we're going to copy that and then what i'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this exact same piece of code put it in there and then what i'm going to do here and we click on it you can see now we are highlighting it except for the button. The button gets still this dark blue. So let's see what we can do with that. What is this type? The default, this is the default focus. Um, let's see here. Well, if this is the default focus, fair enough. I'll just copy this as well. And then what I'm going to do, I want to put in here the blue. Well, this can be maybe also purple. Save that and see if this will work. If I refresh now and then I will tap, another tap, and another tap. All right. So this is basically a way how to create a sign in button or sign in template in Tailwind. Very straightforward. Basically everything here is CSS as well.